other thing, I mean, nice guy, I don't know. So, uh, you can see that here, so you can see the effects of actually being here. Yeah, try not to go around to sit on
You can say we're pointing to something and lots of money is like, well, it's today, you're What is it? It's a shirt. The padded Chardonnay. <laughs> it does sound nice. The way you serve it up in those pint glasses looks absolutely nice. <laughs>
different from some tiny sites. Uh, some tiny sites are a little bit more around the edges, and I realized I wanted to kind of internalize this a little bit because I would have loaded for you right now. So back on next so you can find the tiny site. And that day, you probably did it, it had been a great long for it. It's a half marathon, it goes to the tiny site, that day it had been a great long for it. But by the time I got back from London, I didn't realize that it had been a half marathon that day, this was the night time. And I'm not saying it's not tiny sites rough, but I genuinely misinterpreted a sign that just said, Well, it's not tiny sites! Obviously, this audience is going to be quite inclusive, but 
by nature of the show. My God, the more some of the comedy clubs in the UK, like it, it feels quite old fashioned in some places. Like, I care about it, but I, I this is how I found it, especially in both like villages and stuff. I think some people are still a bit scared of gay people. Like, I think some people are still quite scared of gay men because I think that they can just like sort of like assault you with words and a sassy look. <laughs> And then people are scared of lesbians because they think they can just assault you. That's the end of that joke. Again, that gets a mixed reaction. I knew we would get a strong one here because, like Newcastle, this is a town very familiar with the light of the day. Depressing. 
And I can just make a little way through together. And we've got so much in common. And life is so short. And I'm not naive, but understand we're going to have a bit of discourse and, and arguments like a society or something. But, so it is straight this, right? I had a conversation with a friend a few um, months ago, and it was about crime and punishment. Just go, this is a bit heavy, but I fucking started. It was about, we've got talking about capital punishment, the death penalty, right? And usually, I back down and it's a hard glass to have me. But I thought, no, I'm going to support 27, I'm going to say what I think, I'm going to say what I think. So, I said, listen, um, I understand where you're coming from, I, I get it, um, but I don't believe in capital punishment, I don't believe in death penalty, fundamentally, I don't believe in it. And I don't. However, just to point this out, I, re I respect her opinion, I understand her, 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 her like, sort of stance, I get it. You want to understand it on an emotional level. It's not really to say a comedy show, but there are people who walk this earth who say things like, And then I think, bring back fucking hanging. <laughs> Again, in that spot, poor thing, the uh, cheer that was sinister. So, <laughs> <laughs> take the blame after I did. But yeah, I've had that take a bit in the last few months, and I sort of realised, like, seriously, I've realised the problem of my life, and I'm not sort of a bit mental and that, but I've realised I am. I've realised, I seriously, I want to be a mother one day, I've got that look to do, 100%. I want to be a mother, I want to be a mum. Because I've got that instinct absolutely just to start a vlog. <laughs> Very lovely. And uh, from getting that age now, when friends are having kids and stuff like that, and um, being best friends after just had a baby, and you know, more people like this, she's just blossomed into it, she's blossomed into herself, and she's just become such a wonderful mother. I'm so proud of her. And she, like, she was the worst part of the other day. So it's even more amazing to see her just flourish like this. And she said to her, she said, like, really, like, there's no feeling like being a pet, and not everyone's going to feel like this. In reality, I don't know how this is going But she is, and she's like, there's no feeling like being a mother, that you need to hold this party at all. This is amazing to see the baby. It's got a nice drink, and he drunk, and he lied, and he pill. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm embarrassed 
have you done that? Run the phone book for some of the stuff by his face. Oh. I thought you can't put a phone your arms. That wasn't going to go through personal safety. Yes, <laughs> no, I'm not serious. Okay, so this last one is going to the show of the dead market. The last, um, so statistically, and this is going to be right back, statistically, some taxi drivers will be seen with us. I'm going to be in every one of them. <laughs> Yes. 
goes and gets a view of the canal. She's like, uh, hello, uh, you're from the wife, what's your name? Chris, what's your name? And Angela, my wife, who's dead here. This is Angela, my wife. Chris, what are you doing? You have your job in here, what are you doing? Buying social security networks, communications, system, and the whole system. What do you think I would do? That was. Yeah, 
anything other than this is a sash. I'm not saying that you're a sachet. A sachet, you know. Well, then I'd like to know like, how safe it was in there. What's it called? You know what it's called. Yes, what? A ransom window. A tram, a transom. Transom. How do you know about so much about the window? <laughs>
Take 20 minutes and I'll see you off the break.